Heading up to Blackjack Point. Road 597 here. I've never known the thing to be flooded, but anyway, here's a great view from this turn off on uh, Cave Creek Road. Sun's just coming up. There's a tech prepper right there. Hey guys. <laughs> We're in his Jeep today. Uh, November Juliet 7 Victor with Red Summit RF, and with me today is the tech prepper. Hey guys, KT1 RUN here. Um, looking forward to uh, doing some uh, soda operations with Charlie. Uh, I think the plan for today is just to take it easy, test out some new gear, uh, have fun with another operator. So yeah, check it out and stay tuned. <laughs> Okay, everybody, we are uh, at the base of a jump or blackjack benchmark here, uh, about a half mile to the top. And when I get up on top, we're going to set up and do a couple experiments. Uh, I'm with, uh, as I said, the tech prepper, and he's going to be uh, uh, doing some things with the uh, QRO, it sounds like. Yeah, brought and, the 891 today and a larger battery pack. Yeah, and I'm going to do a little two meter uh, FM experiment. Going to try to work maybe four or five people that I have set up ahead of time to talk to and I'm going to try with my Yagi and a J-Pole and the rubber duck and just see what the uh, signal reports are on each of those for each of the contacts. So let's get up there and, and see how it goes. Looks like you got some thick bushes up here. I believe off in that direction is South Mountain. Oh really? Okay. Yeah. So we have a little gap right here we can get through. Let's do that. This is awesome, another barbed wire fence. Yes, but one we don't have to crawl over. Yeah, this is great. I'm running a little bit behind. It's uh, 8.52. Told the guys I'd be on there at 8.30, so we'll see how it goes. See if they're waiting for me still. I have to send out a text to the guys who are and and check it out but uh, here we are I think I'll tie down to one of these century plants here sticking up in the air KC7 MSU NJ7V KC7 MSU NJ7V Hey there, Dan. Uh, we're ready to roll here. Thank you for coming back to me. I know there's another guy calling a CQ uh, contest here. Let me make sure uh, uh, I'm not stepping on him. We can move to another frequency and do these tests if uh, he's uh, still there. So uh, let me stand by. NJ7V. Yeah, I'm not hearing anybody currently. Okay, I'm sure they'll hop in here and let me know. All right, uh, Dan, uh, you're a 5'9 here on top of Blackjack Point. Okay, Charlie, uh, you are looking like it's about a five, uh, five one, five two, somewhere in there. I'm uh, down in the middle of Phoenix, KC7MSU uh, stationary. Well, let me uh, switch over then to the J-Pole. I've got, this was on the Yagi, so uh, I went to the Yagi, and I got a little bit of a Charlie, got you on the J-Pole. It looks like you're about the same from where I'm sitting at. About a, about a five and one, five, one and a half, somewhere around there. Uh, five, one, five, one and a half again. So let's uh, try one more. Let's try this, uh, this uh, rubber duck here, and we'll see if uh, you can even hear me. I'll call a few times, all right? Sounds good. I'll be sitting here. If you're calling Charlie, negative contact, negative contact so far.
Charlie, if you're calling, uh, don't hear a thing so far. KC7 MSU. Uh, all right, uh, Dad, sounds good. Thank you for this test. Uh, we'll, uh, I appreciate you, and we'll uh, see who else is out there. NJ7, please. You're welcome, Charlie. I got the uh, video recording as well. KC7 MSU, I'll be clear. KI7, QEK. Alright, I got KI7, uh, QEK. KI7, QEK, copy about a 5757, five, over. Yeah, you're also about a 57 with the Yagi here. Okay, got the Yagi. Now let me switch over here to the uh, J Pulse. Stand by. Uh, that's maybe a 5-6, five, 5-6. Six, five, six. Okay, just a little worse. Uh, you're about a 5, actually. You're about a 5-7, same way. Uh, okay, let's go to the uh, rubber duck, thanks. Uh, you're coming in like maybe a 3-1, maybe even like a 2-1, real low in the noise floor. Okay, uh, uh, thanks Ryan, KI7, QEK, I got the 3 by 2 or whatever it was there with the rubber ducky, but uh, thank you, you still are coming in about a 5, uh, I had to give it a 5-5 five, five this way, but uh, thank you and 73 to you. Oh right, yeah, seven three. I was gonna say you're you're right in the noise floor. Maybe like a, a two two something real low. Okay, yeah, Roger that. Thank you, and uh, thanks for uh, helping me out here. Let's go to the next person then. Uh... All right. Well, I just sat here and called CQ on two meters for a bit, and uh, this is kind of the aftermath. This is what uh, what's left over. I tested the Yagi here. It's a two meter Yagi. And of course I had a rubber duck that I was testing as well. And then a roll up J-pole on my antenna mast up there. And uh, so preliminary results were that it was a tie. It was kind of about the same. But then when I got some other guys on, they were pretty sure the roll up J-pole with higher altitude came off better than the handheld at the ground level so uh, you're not as strong here on the, on the edge you were stronger on the uh, vertical oh you as well that's uh that's interesting good test yeah because you were like 10 over 9 you was in the red and you're not uh on the edge what about people that weren't hearing you at all on the uh on the team okay uh there was a double there for a minute uh, uh tom was just finishing up go ahead again brian i was gonna say if you remember when we did armor mountain you were on that beam, and I guess I'm assuming it was that one, and I was on the roll-up J-pole, and people were hearing me on the roll-up J-pole that weren't hearing you on the beam. Yeah, that's uh, I do remember that, but uh, now we've put it to the test here again on my same gear, same location, sure enough. Well, maybe I better retire this uh, this darn Yagi then and, uh, and do the roll-up J-pole. But still, they're both about the same, uh, but I would say I probably agree that the J-pole up there a little higher is probably going to give off a little stronger signal and get in there a little better. CQ, 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 CQ soda, CQ soda, CQ soda, NJ7V calling CQ. Kilo 6 Alpha Romeo Kilo. Oh, hey there, Adam. How you doing this morning? K6 ARK, this is NJ7V, you're 5-9. Thanks for the 5-9. You're about a 4-2, 42. Uh, pretty down, uh, low signal, but I copy you here in San Diego. Thanks, uh for the activation today. Is, uh, is uh, Tech Prepper out there with you? <laughs> yeah, he is. I can see him just over here. He's uh, just to my left a little bit. We're both recording. So yeah, Tech Prepper's here. He's a good guy. Uh, it's good to know him. And uh, so thanks for asking, uh, Adam. Uh, how's things going over there in San Diego? It's uh, kind of chilly up here. Okay, yeah, somebody's tuning up on the frequency, so I lost you there for a second. 7-3, you guys have a blast out there. If I uh, see a spot for Tech Prepper, I'll uh, try to get him in the, in the log as well. Have a good one, Charlie. Okay, yeah, thank you so much, Adam. 73, uh, and uh, take care. Uh, November Juliet, 7 Victor, QRZ. Yeah, somebody is tuning up. I hate that. Gosh.
CQ, 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 CQ soda, CQ soda, CQ soda. November Juliet 7 Victor calling CQ for summits on the air. Ah. CQ, CQ, CQ soda, November Juliet 7 Victor calling CQ. Kilo 6, Kilo Mike Hotel. Kilo 6, Kilo Mike Hotel, 5757. Roger. Roger, Roger, yes, QSL. You are 5 5 into San Diego. Thank you for the activation. All right, yeah, thanks for San Diego and uh, thanks for the chase. 73. Hey guys, so I just finished up uh, activating this peak Whiskey 7 Alpha, Alpha Whiskey 039. That's Blackjack Point. We're quite a bit, uh, maybe an hour or so, heading north of uh, Cave Creek which is kind of northern Phoenix area, more or less. Uh, had had a great time with the tech prepper. Yeah. All right, Charlie here with Rent Summon RF. So I've got tech prepper here and I'm interested in his setup a little bit. He's got some gear that's uh, really interesting. And of course, I, I I pointed out earlier this uh, BioNO. It's a nice one, big nice one where he could go QRO if he wants to. Interesting over here, he's got, uh, well, I'll let him tell you. Well, these are the uh, Power Film 20 watt panels. I first saw this on Julian's channel. Uh, right now, I'm actually producing about uh, 500 milliamps, uh, which is fine for QRP. And this folds nicely into my pack and I believe comes in at like 1.1 pounds. So really happy with it. This is the first time I've taken it in the field. And like I said, if I operate uh, QRP with the 817 or 818, uh, this will actually be able to power the radio for at least 30 minutes um, at a time. Yeah, let me check this out. I've not seen one of these in person. So it's a telescoping pole then, huh? Yeah, and it's small enough where it fits inside of my pack. It's actually that white length is the outer case for it. Oh, yes. And actually it's part of the segment. And it's got two threaded caps. And uh, even the top uh, element on it is sort of usable. And I've got a little bit of uh, electrical tape there and uh, there's a little piece of fabric that I've looped over and then I just got a carabiner that hooks through and I've never really had an issue with it um, uh, collapse on me. So pretty easy. Um, I like your idea of tethering it to a tree with some uh, ties, but uh, you know, the guy lines yeah. and uh, the taut line hitches usually work pretty well for me too. Yeah, and, and you know, my, my setup here, you know, the full length of, I mean, you have one, two, three, three to four sections that you can collapse for every one of mine. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, uh, thanks for the tour. And uh, I guess I'm gonna wrap it up here myself. Uh, really appreciate you letting me tag along. <laughs> it's the other way around, but... Uh... Uh, it was kind of a joint activation, that's how it goes. We, we tag along with, along with each other. But uh, it's a beautiful day up here. I, I, I took some uh, footage earlier, but uh, if you, uh, if you haven't heard of te the Tech Prepper, uh, how do you get a hold of you? Uh, so the YouTube channel, the Tech Prepper, all one word, is the easiest way to find me. I'm very active on Instagram. I post daily there, so the Tech Prepper. And then more recently getting into Twitter, I think I'm the Tech Prepper, the number one. But uh, I'll send you some links and uh, okay. maybe you can put them somewhere useful. Yeah. Okay, so with that, uh, we'll uh, say 73 to you guys. And thanks for checking us out, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Don't forget, if you want to see more like this, you can uh, see videos here and you can subscribe right up here.